Hey guys, I'm Kame Turtle, and you are watching Turtle Time. Today we are discussing the Lola Bunny issue. Don't know who she is? Well, she was a character introduced in the 1996 movie Space Jam, starring Michael Jordan, Bill Murray, Dwayne White, and the Looney Tune Gang. Before we dive into it too far, I like to point out I have a small announcement to make at the end of the video. Stay tuned for it, folks. I was scrolling through Twitter and noticed people on Facebook, Twitter, and internet jets in general being argumentative about the new redesign for Lola Bunny in Space Jam 2. For everyone who's saying this is not Lola because she is a redesign and they got rid of her curves, I'd like to point out a small detail. It's not her first redesign. She was actually redesigned twice over before this, at least that I'm aware of. I'll be tackling all four her designs that I'm aware of, physically and personality. First design is, of course, the classic. Her first introduction, Space Jam Lola. This one, she is shown to be a different style of tune compared to the other Looney Tunes. She's more shaded, she's more semi-realistic, and she's typically wearing clothes unlike the majority of other animal-based Looney Tunes. Her outfits tend to be consisting of tight pants, short shorts, and crop tops, showing her definitive curves. Personality-wise, she is shown to be assertive, confident, and having that special little something that makes you notice her. We all seen that guy or girl walking down the street and it's just something about them that makes us go, ooh, you know? This is a standard version of Lola that most people remember and the version that they compare Space Jam 2 to, but I'll be getting to that later. The first design I'm aware of came out in approximately 1997 in the baby Looney Tune. Here, all the main animal Looney Tunes plus Lola uh, was redesigned as Baby. She is shown to be wearing a diaper throughout most of the series, if not all of it. Now, I am not into the whole baby fur thing. That is a video for another time. But I think the design is cute. Her personality in this one is shown to be boyish, confident, like her Space Jam version, and curious, like most babies should be, as they're trying to learn more about the world they're in. Her next redesign that I'm aware of came in about 1990. This one, she has grown up. This one is shown to be the same typical design as the other Looney Tunes. She's still wearing clothes in comparison to Bugs and Daffy and several other main animal Looney Tunes. Her outfits consist of a one-piece purple dress with a silverish gray belt. Personality-wise, she is shown to be flighty, forgetful, and a non-stop chatterbox. And in at least one episode, a complete stalker. Now, this version of Lola is actually my least favorite. If she's your favorite version, good for you. But I'm entitled to my own opinion on this matter. This brings us up to Space Jam 2 Lola. Now, there is barely any artwork out there, most of which is fan art. But for the official artwork that we have seen, she is shown to be wearing the generic Space Jam 2 uniform consisting of longer shorts than she was wearing in Space Jam 1, a loose fitting in shirt that hides any curves really, and an arm sleeve. Looks like an compressor arm sleeve, probably from all that uh, tennis she was playing in Looney Tunes show. Personality wise, I have nothing to go on. Until an actual trailer comes out, I can't judge a personality of it. But I can say, that the original voice actress of Lola Bunny is set to return to play her in Space Jam 2. So will her personality be more like Space Jam 1's Lola? 
or more like the Looney Tunes Lola, or something completely different. Who knows? I'm going to have to watch the movie to find out. As I encourage you to as well. Oh, by the way, if you like any of the artwork you've seen here, you can find links to all the artists in the description below. Be sure to check them out. And if you want to hear me speak more about Faith Jam itself, I did a film review on it. Linked in the cards above and description below. But now for that announcement, I promised you a recent video of mine hit a personal goal of mine. So I'm going to be doing a Q&A video. If you have any questions for me, let me know in the comments below with hashtag Q&A. I'll also be doing a tweet over my Twitter account on it, which will be pinned in the comments below. But speaking of comments, if you liked what you saw and want more, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit that bell for notifications when my next video airs. Leave a like or maybe a comment. Share with friends, family, any other furs you know. And I hope to see you all next time. Johnny. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Click the video on screen right now to check out another one of my videos. Until next time, Johnny.